Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you an example of multi-tenancy application with filament, but a bit different than the official documentation. In general, the word multi-tenancy is so multi-understandable, so to speak. There are multiple ways to do multi-tenancy with single or multiple databases, single or multiple teams per user, who can access what, what is the registration of tenant, when it happens, when the new users get into the team or their tenant, is it invitation-based? or by admin or their own registration or something like that who can access which records by user or by team a lot of things that are totally individual that's why it's almost impossible to write the docs on all the multi-tenancy and that's why the docs in addition to simple multi-tenancy with global scope they provide the example of setting up multi-tenancy with multiple teams per user. But in my experience, a more typical case of multi-tenancy is single team per user. So this is exactly what we've built in our filamentexamples.com. A new project, new premium project, is multi-tenancy with a single team per user. So in this video, I will demonstrate to you how it works and partially show the main features. Not every feature because that would be unfair to premium owners of filamentexamples.com com but you will get the main idea so how it works this is the project inside but if i sign out and register with a new user sign up for a new account use fake filler chrome extension sign up and then i land on a registration team for the tenant for the team by default it's my name team i create a team and then it's a task management or to do or whatever system but the main thing that i want to show in this project is profile page of a team so there's a team profile tenant profile page where you can edit the team name but also invite new users into your team via email so this is not done by default in the filament documentation so let's compare filament documentation with partially our code in the filament examples and this is the code on github and i will read partially read the tutorial the instruction that comes with every project in filament examples so how it works in the user model we have two things has default tenant and has tenants so those interfaces and then we have belongs to one team not multiple teams then this is important can access tenant then the tenants is empty array because we don't have multiple tenants and then the default tenant is the team so this is how we deal with the model then in the panel provider in our case it's app panel provider not admin we customized it to be app here and then we add a few things around tenant by the way ignore these comments this is torch light syntax highlighting for that to be visible on the page in a better way so we specify tenant as a team class then we have tenant registration page the one that you saw on the screen with just the name inside and then we hide menu items for registration because that already happens here in the registration team class in the register team we have the form for just text input and this is important for the invitations so we override that register team and this is where we can compare with the official docs so setting up the tenancy according to the official docs is just providing the tenant then prepare the model similar that what we did and then tenant registration page by default it extends register tenant and all it has by default is text input and then handle registration how you create the team so in our case, we extend that and we add handle registration and handle team invitation. So after the invitation in the email, which I will not show in this video, but you will get the idea. The email is sent and then the email contains the link to the registration form. And then after that registration, the user lands on this page register the team but we check if there is a team already this is done in the mount method so after the parent mount we handle team invitation here and if we do find the team invitation record with specific team then we just return redirect which means that the user will not even see the form or the handle registration methods so this is kind of a trick to reuse the same register tenant page for the invitations now the tenant profile page this one we also override a part of it so first we register tenant profile and also it is done in the docs in a similar way adding a tenant profile page looks like this so we have edit profile that extends the tenancy edit tenant profile and then we need to register that in the filament panel provider so by default that page contains the form also with text input this one 
but also we add a table here. And this is how it is accomplished in our case. We have the same team profile page, but we add implements has table, interacts with table, and well, add a table for users to be invited. It has quite a few points of interesting logic of how to query the users, how to show the text if there are no users, and also action to invite a user, or this one is remove the user in the table, and header action is invite the user. In both cases, we're showing the notification, and in the case of header action, we're sending the email to invitation. This is where I will stop, and I will not show how that invitation system works with email. You will get the access to the full code, as well as other projects if you purchase filamentexamples.com. This is what I will often do on this channel. So we'll put a lot of effort into building like the full project with tutorial around it. And on YouTube, I will shoot part of it, kind of a teaser for you to purchase the full thing, but also valuable enough on its own so you would understand the basics, how in this case, for example, multi-tenancy works in filament and how there are different parts that you can quite easily customize. So I hope to maintain that balance between free videos with free code snippets and premium projects on filament examples with full access. What do you think about this example? Would you implement something differently for multi-tenancy or what is maybe your different story for what you need for multi-tenancy projects? Then ask your questions in the comments below and I will probably cover them in the future videos. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.